What is going on guys, today we are looking at Headliner Tavernier, the new 86 SBC. The English Rangers player is absolutely on fire, already getting two assists and he is the top goal scorer in Rangers at this moment in time due to basically taking penalties and having the season of his life. Rangers I think are 21 wins and one draw or two draws in the domestic league, absolutely cracking performances. So. Pretty much straight away what you can guarantee from this that he will get the plus one for the four games win. The, the, the win streak, the four games for the plus one. And then more than likely, we probably will see another inform taking this card straight away up to an 88 rated. And the fact that he's an SBC means that his price stays the same. So personally for me, I'm just going to straight out say it, you need to do this card. So let me know down below, are you completing Tavernier? And if not... Who have you got in replacement? But from now, let's get into the review. Make sure you like and subscribe, and let's get into it. So if we do look at Tavernier, we've tried his first in form, we've tried his second in form, and now we are trying out the headliner. There is no way that I was not doing this card for under 200k worth of value. I think he's coming in 170-ish on both consoles. We will go through the SBC at the end, but just in general, this card is phenomenal. He's very, very, very much likely to get another in form. Obviously, he's scoring penalties, he's assisting, he's scoring himself in play. Honestly, there's not much this card can do. And at the very least, you're going to get that plus one from the four games. That's just a, a guarantee, really. They've not lost a single game this season in their domestic league, which is what matters. doesn't matter if they lose in the Europa. doesn't matter if they lose in the Scottish Cup. Literally, as long as in the league, they keep on this performance. We'll be seeing an 87 Tavernier. And then literally all we need is one more in form to take him to an 88. If he gets an upgrade, a winter refresh, there is a slight chance of an upgrade for him i don't think so because the 86 won't be affected enough to really go up the 75 for instance if he goes up to like an 81 there's a slight chance that the informs move up but that it all depends we had this problem last year where we kind of believe that cards should have been higher but they never went up so it'd be interesting just to see if that has any effect and you definitely don't want to miss out on that if it turns out that he goes up to an 80 rated and then suddenly his inform goes from an 81 to an 83 and then we get an 86 inform and this turns into an 88 you'd be absolutely kicking yourself if you didn't do it obviously with this you are always one ahead of the informs so no matter if you get an 86 inform this will then be an 87 if this if he gets four informs he'll be two ahead so i think for me this is a very important card to do just to not miss out so in terms of all the stats then three star three star that's the box standard version of him 5 foot 11, right footed with a high medium, attacking to defending. So unfortunately he is more attacking orientated. He's got a very nice balance between the two stats. 81 shooting, 80 defending. Um, obviously everything's quite nice to be honest. We've got great pace. Passing's decent. I'd say for an 86, very, very decent. Dribbling wise, bar from reactions, which definitely could do with an upgrade, is nice as well. Defending. Head and accuracy and defensive awareness on the lower side. Everything else is relatively up there. It's kind of like in between good and very good. Um, and then obviously the physicality, bar from the aggression, is outstanding as well. So there is only so many little points that I think this card needs an upgrade from. And obviously if we are looking at chem styles, people are looking at either the anchor, they're looking at the sentinel, or they're looking at something like a gladiator. Anchor for me isn't the one because we don't need any more pace i feel like sentinel probably is the best bet anchor takes him up to a 90 right back sentinel takes him to an 88 but gives him a plus eight on his defended and a plus five on his physical obviously if you went with the anchor you do get the plus five pace uh seven defended and then obviously the five physicality so if you're okay to kind of miss out on relatively big upgrades in his defense then i would say the anchor is definitely perfect but I think Sentinel for me just really highlights the defending side of this card, which we'll have a look at the end. First off, we'll have a quick look at his gameplay. So with Tavernier, obviously he's a right back who can get forward. He's pretty much more of a right wing back, if anything. And we constantly see him just winning the ball, managing to do what he does, really. He gets the ball and he runs. He is so, so quick. And if a defender second guesses where you're going and you just literally carry on in a straight line, which one clip does show, 
no one catches him. You can just see the pace. Obviously, Mbappe and, and kind of players like that will catch him because they have the same sort of pace. But your generic average Joe is literally not going for him. We should have maybe took one less touch there. But unfortunately, did overstep in a little bit. So obviously, AI kind of... My, uh, not AI. Can my controller, so me, is... Uh, it's okay with controlling him, but I think he's very much like an Adama in the sense of dribbling. That was an unfortunate ball, but he is a bit static in terms of kind of like how he moves, and that's just generic from an 86. This is the clip. You literally just keep running, and he just blitzes everybody. That's Fulan Mendy, who, yes, is catching him up, but he's already got away from him. That is phenomenal stuff that you don't see many wingers doing. I think the only other one that I've tried out that really does that to a defender is um, second in form, or I think it's third in form, Lozano. I haven't tried his head out, headliner out yet, so I need to try him out with the 99 pace. If you could link Tavernier and obviously Lozano as well, that would be a very, very quick wing. Um, but link-wise, there's plenty. He's English. You've got Joe Gomez, who I think pretty sure everybody was using at the very start. Now he's not as, not as popular, but you've still got him you've obviously then got kind of like center mids you've got icons that you can use you've got plenty of players that you can use in them positions even if you've got like a striker rashford and put him at cdm just link him you've got then joe gomez rashford two very meta players and i think tavernier definitely fits into a lot of foot champs teams and i think that's the big thing for me with this card is he fits into first teams yes people have their own defenders obviously i've got zambrata who I don't know if I'll give up for Tavernier as of yet, but if he does get a couple more upgrades, potentially that could be the one. I just need to kind of move a few of my team around due to Ronaldo taking up basically four positions, making him have links. So if we do go into the overall then, so obviously straight off the bat, let's have a look at his links. So we've got plenty of icons as we did, as we mentioned, in terms of who you can link him with, you've got Sancho English, you've then got any striker you could bring back to CDM to get that link. Obviously Trent is in his position, Walker's in his position, we have a Rashford, we have Henderson, if he does manage to get a few more, I'd well, say he's going to need quite a few more upgrades due to that pace being quite low, but you've got a Henderson if you really wanted, Joe and John Stones as a player moments. Um, you've also got Joe Gomez, who's going to be one of the favourites, with Wan-Bissaka as well, another cracking one, if you did finish him. Um, you've got obviously got Madison, Mount, who are also in them positions that you could get that link. And then I think to kind of cap it off, you've got Dak, I suppose, as the milestone. Other than that, I wouldn't say any of these will fit, but you have obviously got quite a bit of option. In terms of Scottish League then, Obviously, we have got a couple of informs as well. Um, Goldson being the perfect link for him. Whether you're going to want to use him in foot champs is another story. We do have Ryan Kent if you wanted to go Goldson, Kent, and then obviously Tavernier as left back or vice versa as right back and Kent as right mid. There is a chance of that and hopefully Kent could live up to the hype really. I don't think he's going to be nowhere near as good as he was last year, but he's obviously got that nostalgia now after a whole year of literally everybody super subbing him. It, he's become kind of that player that everyone knows, but in the overall for Tavernier, like I said, you could go with the anchor. You do miss out on... The, it's mainly these two that, that or these three that don't get the upgrade. You go with Sentinel. You can see that massive upgrade. Plus 10s and 15s. But unfortunately, you get no pace. So I think anchor could be the choice for the higher rated card. But I think definitely Sentinel doesn't want to be slept on. As really, it's only like 0.5 different... Or 0.3 different? No, 4 different. It's only 0.4 different compared to the anchor. So for me, I probably would still go with the sentinel i think the pace is absolutely phenomenal 100 percent 10 out of 10 and i think the spc is is relatively good priced i wouldn't say it's an absolute steal but i think for a card that goes up everyone's hyped about him he obviously links to a lot of uh, meta center backs strikers cdms I think it's a real, re realistically a fair price in my opinion. I wouldn't say he would be any more and I wouldn't say it'd be any less. Like if we got this card for 100k, everybody would be doing him. They've got to make it very competitive as well to make you think, should I do that card? You only need to give up an 85 with one in form and then an 83 with one in form. So it's the informs that are holding the price really. That's an extra, what, like say 20 to 30k due to foot bin. Obviously the 85, they normally go with the lowest rated kind of like 84, 83 and make it up with the gold cards but this time around i don't know if you want to do that in terms of the completed section because informs are now starting to really get to a point where there's not as many you kind of have to go with the leak that you've uh, is the new one so team of the week 16 
and then you may not have the, the the players to kind of like make the chemistry work as you can see this is only 65 chem and really is given up a couple of, of quite high rated and obviously he's got an informed Drakowski second in form so you've got plenty of rating there but if I do finish off Tavernier, I think he's an absolute wonderful player. I think the SBC price, like I say, not a steal, but definitely not a ripoff in my opinion. I've been seeing kind of like the up and downs from Twitter with him. I think he's a cracking centre back. Would I say he's the best on the game? Most definitely not. He's got the chance to be one of the best right backs on the game. He's got so much kind of like competition. If he was even speaking about best card in the game, I feel like Carlos Alberto definitely has something to say in his prime. And obviously, if we do quickly just take a look at some right backs, like you've got the likes of Walker. Trent, for me, this year is just not it one bit. Obviously, Walker is more of the meta. Cancelo's quite nice as a road to the final. Obviously, we got Kaliba as a um, object, as a SBC. So we have only just finished that, but he was half the price and he did end up getting a draw to go up to an 86 rated. Same as Tavernier. Other than that, and Saudi, I thought was quite a nice one, but again, is an SBC. Um, and then other than that, I feel like that's a lot of right backs. And then we need to take into consideration the icons. Obviously, you've got Zambrata, you've got, I think Zanetti has one, and then you've also got a... Trying to think of the name, I literally just said him. A Carlos Alberto. I knew I remembered him there. So that is pretty much the, the section. And then obviously Puyol as his uh, kind of baby. Lama is his, I think that's his prime actually. You know, Lama is his prime. So if you did want to kind of go and try and uh, a little bit of Lama out instead, there is the chance. But I think he is a wonderful SBC. So let me know down below if you think Tavernier is well worth doing. And like I say, if not, who have you got there? Because there's plenty. There's there's Bellerin, like I said, there's Kaliba, Mukiele, all free right backs. This guy costs something. Will you do him? But apart from that, make sure to like and subscribe. I'll see you for the next one. Peace.